I think a lot of non-black people want to know what system was designed to suppress black people. And there are those, but really the systems often look like this. They are systems that elevate and endow individuals with powers. And those individuals come from a different walk of life. They have a different set of values and those values don't include blackness. So it's easier for them to associate blackness with criminality. And as a result of that, and their elevated positions of power, we're going to, you know, discuss uh, Sonia Massey's death again, where there's an officer with a, with a gun on his person that can end lives. And they feel like this is their right to say and do whatever it is they want only when it comes to people of color. Right. If this if these trespassers had been 16 year old white girls, it wouldn't have played out this way. And you couldn't argue that it would. If Sonia Massey would have been a 21 year old white woman, it wouldn't have played out that way. Right. And so because it's on full display and now it's illuminating exactly the, the let's call it the mechanism behind the systems of oppression, which, of course, are the people. Um, stories like this, I think, help further make the case that we do still very much live in a racist country. And that's a, a reality that a lot of non-black people have difficulty confronting.